going on you're watching a weekly wednesday what's up your boy akasun here uh my twitch stream is forcing me to make a video for you guys because uh they want me to talk about uh halloween for you guys to give you an update uh, the youtube crew because it has occurred to us it has occurred to us recently through some of the videos that i've uploaded recently that uh not everybody knows or maybe the image that you might see of Akasun on YouTube might be a little different than the Akasun, the actual Akasun that uh, exists, particularly on Twitch, particularly when it comes to doing interviews and other content creation, other than just reactions. We try to do lots of videos for you guys, and we try to do a variety of stuff for YouTube, but either YouTube doesn't allow it, or it's a pain in the ass to do it. Or live streaming is like a no good. Like, for example, the upcoming God of War Ragnarok uh, gameplay that we'll be doing, obviously, on Twitch. I would love to do it on YouTube. I would love to stream on YouTube. But YouTube tends to have a problem with me every time I do a premiere or a stream and makes they... Uh, force unsub people or people just unsub because they're confused as to what exactly is going on. Hence the Maria Nagai interview. A lot of people unsub because of that or YouTube unsub them. I don't know, man. But regardless, um, I wanted to go ahead and give you an update on what happened with the Halloween party as it was a very, very uh, banging uh, stream on Twitch uh, we went for about 12 hours here. It was uh, quite uh, interesting. On the technical side of things, there's me with the lovely Conan and Itty uh, to my right and my left. And uh, Bookends Baby, that uh, was really fun. I wasn't about to download all of this just to show you guys a bunch of uh, blank, um, <laughs> blank, a, b a bunch of dark uh darkness darkness everywhere right uh conan looking very good even though she was uh concerned about fitting into her outfit but uh you know her playboy bunny outfit uh was working and I itty just being a clown as usual um we had it right here on 33 tokyo i was uh vecna for halloween it was the whole idea was supposed to be vacation vecna vacation vecna um or Vecna on vacation or whatever. And it was it was pretty cool to see this. A bunch of different people showed up. Um, in the beginning, um, around 6 o'clock. This is us just setting up before they even opened to the public and everything. And that was nice. And then, uh, you know, we were right here on the corner between uh, GU and Mega Donkey. Mega Don Quixote. Um, and it was quite nice. Echo Mog drew M-Dog from... Struggle Nation, Echo Bog, was supposed to show up this day. He did not. He had a problem with his vaccine and his papers, so he was detained in America, and so he was a day late. But he missed all of this, but it's okay. Uh, we made up for it a little later. He was out on the street. Um, I think in the future, I don't think... In the future, I don't think I will be having a party around this time. Uh, I think in the future, I'm going to maybe the idea is to have the party, you know, when I did it last year, it was a whole thing of like, people didn't really want to go out and catch Corona. Now people are willing to take that risk. One of my friends looks like they might've gotten Corona. I won't say which one it is. I'll leave it up to them to reveal that. Um, but, um, there are a lot of cases that spike, but I think at this point, people are just like, yo, it is what it is. Let's like, if we get sick, we get sick, but we're not about to sit here all day. Right. And I, I think a lot of the people that are willing to take that risk are the ones that have actually had Corona and survived through it. And they're just like, you know what? If I get sick, I get sick. That's that. Right. I was even thinking about that myself. It's been about three days now four days i no symptoms so i feel like i'm good um but i'm sure if i was out there in that crowd a lot more i probably would have gotten uh caught it or whatever possibly possibly um so yeah of course it was really cool uh but what was i gonna say oh but i think maybe in the future i think i might do the party from 6 a.m i'm sorry from from 12 a.m to uh 
6 a.m. instead, like a very after party situation. Or maybe even 10 p.m. Do the party from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning or something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Because I know people like Conan um, and Itty, they really wanted this party. They wanted to have like a safe space and a warm place. And they didn't want to just walk around. But I felt like I missed some of the action by not being able to walk around and enjoy all the costumes. So it's kind of a it's kind of a mixed situation. You know what I mean? Or maybe I'll just do a short. Maybe I'll do a shorter party next time. Start from eight o'clock to twelve o'clock. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, a lot of streamers like Milky Puff and um, who is this Tokyo streaming? They showed up and that was really fun to see to meet all these people. Um, Red Dog Rebel, shout outs for being there. I think we have about 40 something people came that night, uh, but they didn't stay the entire time. So there was a fluctuation of people. And I think that was good. It gave them a nice sort of mix between the two was like they could take a break, sit down, have a drink, stay warm and then go back out to get more content. Right. Um, certainly. A lot of the streamers were not real. I wouldn't say I wouldn't go as far as to say antisocial, but, you know, they're not really people that mix with other people so well, except uh, other streamers. And they're very much uh, comfortable with just talking with their own audience. And that's about it. Uh, their own group opposed to the people around the group, which, you know, I guess that's one of the things that sets me a little bit apart is that it's easy for me to I wouldn't say it's easy for me, but. I'm fine with talking with other people uh, and uh, mixing with other people. I met a guy that looked like Jamie Lannister and then I, another person we called him old man. We called him old Thor or something like that. And they were all really cool people. So that was no problem. Uh, but that, I guess that's my particular talent. Um, it was great to see all these other, and then even the people that weren't streamers that showed up like Pepsi man. I know him. That's a chance photography. Um, it was cool. It was it was it was a fun time. You know, overall I enjoyed it. I just wish I had a chance to go out and uh enjoy Shibuya as well. Uh which I actually did get a chance to do around this time, which was uh this one right here. Hold on a second. Uh there we go. Uh was around this time we got a chance to walk around uh Shibuya and you know, this is the thing. It's like some people do not really like this. Like there, you know, there's been arguments about if this is bad or good. Uh, uh, this was on Monday, the actual Halloween day, and we, uh, I actually got a chance to hang out with um, uh, Nomadic, Life of Pre, and uh, Volupsi. And that was really cool to just kind of hang out with them and talk about the movies and the TV shows that we've enjoyed and what uh, we like um, and what we, you know, the, the ups and downs of streaming and things like that. And that was really cool to kind of just walk around with all these streamers. And then later we headed out here to Shibuya. And this was kind of a mix of things where some people re really do not like lots of crowds. They do not like the crowds. And you can see the signal quality changed immensely differently uh ah and i just messed up there we go uh it was immensely different to see the um but you know i love this i love this sort of vibe i like being around these uh you can see the different uh, sort of costumes that people are wearing there's drew right there with his makeshift uh suicide doctor strange afro costume or something like that um uh, in terms of the biggest street in terms of the biggest costumes by far spy family hands down so many anyas the typical harley quins were there um uh anya and yor were pretty big but you know because you can you can be i guess fairly like a flat body or whatever and just wear a wig and your uh, your your right and then anya was pretty easy for most people to um to wear and i think that that costume was the one that was readily available for uh anybody to kind of order um and so there were lots of anyas around um a few child anyas 
Uh, now, one thing I will point out real quick, if you look up here in the top corner right here, you'll see that there are police that are constantly uh, pushing people. Like, that was the thing. Nobody could stop and stand for too long, especially in this area, which is Sintagaya of uh, Shibuya. Um, you don't, uh, the police were consistently moving you ahead and you could not, you had to be like water in these areas. And some people did not like that, but I, but I think everybody completely understood as to why they want, they did want, they didn't want any congestion and they did not want suddenly people to get trampled or fall um, i.e. what happened in Itaewon, uh, which is a completely different situation. But believe you me, all eyes were on Japan um, because it's the center of attention in terms of when it comes to the massive amounts of people. If you didn't move, they started blaring sirens loudly right here, as you can see, to get people to just move. They're like, yo, we don't give a f we don't give two fucks about your um uh, we don't give two fucks about your photo or you need to keep moving. And it it was understandable for most people. I can work with this area. This was one of my favorite costumes here. This was a uh, Gojo Sensei. Gojo Z Sensei as a cat or from uh, 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 Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, I thought th his outfit was pretty cool. Uh, one thing on the technical side, there's an Anya right there. There's Anya with an afro right there. I thought this was pretty cool. The one thing I did wish is I wish I had a camera. I just wish I had a pocket camera uh, for me to um, carry with me so I could actually get more shots for you guys. Because the as I can see now, this is actually my first time looking at the stream. Uh, the quality is not so good, but that's only because it's in Shibuya and there's so many signals that are crossing. So it makes sense that it would not look this good um uh, on stream uh unfortunately the the recorded vod is probably much better but the ported version is just just not that good lots of people were taking photos of me uh, uh but yeah i ended up bouncing uh afterwards i ended up bouncing for last train nomadic was under the impression that there were going to be a bunch of people on the train i'm like nah dude this isn't some friggin uh uh fireworks festival or something like that there are literally like a few people on here's my train right here <laughs> this was my train ain't nobody doing anything i couldn't find my mask so i just wore my regular mask and um that was a, that was an interesting uh trip on the way home <laughs> anyways <laughs> anyways all in all guys uh uh all in all, guys, it was an interesting it was an interesting Halloween. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the interview as well. We've got one more piece of that interview, not that interview, but of that of the podcast to go up. I haven't been able to uh, put it out yet, but it will come out uh, within the next day or so. On top of that, we have a very special unboxing that was sent to us, and that's why we went out and did a whole photo shoot uh, two weeks ago. And uh, we've seen the end result of that. So I'm looking forward for you guys to checking that out. Please watch it, support it. It really helps the channel grow. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. We are now moving on to November. We have Tokyo Comic Con coming up really, really soon. I am highly debating spending 600 something dollars to take a picture with Anakin Skywalker and Emperor Palpatine. Just to have, you know, just to have in my collection. It's expensive, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, we have Thanksgiving coming up as well. And then I'm just going to use this time. You know, people are asking about Titans and other stuff. I'm just going to use this time to basically catch up on the anime stuff and start churning out the anime. And in all likelihood for the next year, for the rest of this year, um, I'm probably just going to go ahead and focus on anime and the guardians of the galaxy christmas special um wakanda forever which is next week and i don't know what else uh, but yeah i don't think there i don't think there's any 
big shows, any more big American shows coming out, you know, like House of the Dragon or anything like that. So I think for the rest of this year, we'll probably be like catching up on the anime and getting that stuff kind of streamlined and uh, making sure Patreon is taken care of as well. And uh, finishing Harley Quinn as well. Jesus. All right. Anyways, guys, love, peace, chicken grease. I will let you guys know what's up on the next weekly Wednesday. What's up? Oh, and I'm also going back home for to America <laughs> in December for just one week. So if you have any ideas of what to do, uh, or if there's anybody that wants to meet up, just let me know. We'll talk later. Peace. <laughs>